everything. What else is there that we haven't done? Oh, Dr. Vanda, I just can't believe something so awful could possibly happen to Frank. I told him and told him he must look both ways before he crosses the street. But I guess he forgot this time when he went to get the mail. I'm very sorry that things have to be this way, Mrs. Kingsley. We're doing all we can do, I assure you. I understand, Dr. Vanda. It's just that it's so hard to see him in this condition. Yesterday, so full of life, and now... Yes, comatose. I wish I could say something, do something to improve your unfortunate circumstances. I guess the best thing for you is to get some rest. Why don't you go home and lie down for a while? You'll feel better, I'm sure. There's really nothing you can do right now anyway. I suppose you're right. I'll go home for an hour or so. Maybe something will happen. Maybe he'll respond. That's right. Go home. Just relax. I'll check in with you this afternoon. Okay. Okay? 
this man. You'll get the hang of it. Just remember, no <sighs> fooling around. Okay, ma'am, you can count on me. Understand? I'm the man for the job. Okay. There's your stop. Use it good. Okay. I'll be back to check on your work. Don't fool around. Okay. You can count on me, Miss Crowell. I'm the man for the job. Yep. All right. Whoa. Is that part of my cleaning, too? That's worse than the toilet. Okay. Okay, first. Okay, clean under bed. Okay, under the bed. Okay. How's Skipper call? Whoa! I just remembered I told you to sweep the floor and I took your broom. You better take it. Whoa. Wonder if Holmes have ever hauled something that big. this one home. <laughs> now, Mr. Official Housekeeper, it's off to work we go. <laughs> okay, check under bed. <laughs>
sometime this week. That's right. Yes, 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 I remember. <laughs> I was just under the... And it came down and I... And then I was trying to... But one thing they didn't tell us was how handsome you'd be. Molly. Whoa. Seems like the doctors get younger and better looking all the time. Molly. Why, yes, we did. He seemed to be making improvements, don't we? <laughs> Now, you're being all nice and all, and I was just wondering if you were... Yes, you? yes, I am finished. This pulse is 74, oh. Doctor. I can take his BP if you want. BP? I'll help you. Oh, no, ma'am. You were much too wonderful and nice to be taking care of bedpans. <laughs> I know somebody that's much better fitted for it. Did you say bedpans? That was an entirely different situation. She was referring to blood pressure. I knew that. What kind of a doctor are you, anyway? Stinky one. <laughs> or are you? Oh, BP, bed fat, I guess. <laughs> You've got a sense of humor, too. <laughs> I'm so glad. Most of the people I have to work with are real grumps, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Twindle's right, though. You really don't seem like a doctor. I don't. No, you really I don't. don't. No, you seem quieter. More the professional type. I like a doctor who looks professional. Who acts professional. <laughs> and sounds professional. That's the kind of doctor I'd work with. Or even Mary. Molly, Molly. Oh. Hey, girl. We already have one patient in the bed. Are you trying to make the rest of us sick, too? <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Hello, operating room. <laughs> this is Slade. I mean, Dr. Slade here. What's on my surgery schedule for the day? Uh-huh, brain surgery at 11, huh? Triple bypass at 11.15. Oh, that's pretty tight. No problem. Oh, okay, knee surgery at what? 12.15? Oh, okay. And can I what? Yes, you can put me down for the facelift and the appendicitis operation at the same time. But will you do one thing for me? Will you do one thing for me? Put the beds a little closer together this time. Last time I had to run back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It'll be much nicer if I can just turn around. Okay, thank you. And uh, will you triple my schedule for tomorrow? I mean quadruple it. I mean whatever comes next. Thank you. Wow! Oh, the sacrifice we doctors have to make. <laughs> what a schedule. Where, what school did you go to to learn all that? Exclusive school for fools, no doubt. School? I went to the uh, Mukwok State School and Professional Technology of Bedside Mannerism oh. in uh, Northern Alaska. Yep, that's where it was. I remember. What about your residency? Oh, it's about three blocks away on Evans Avenue. Sir Michael's apartment for unwed doctors. You been there? Oh, oh no, I didn't mean... Oh, you're just being funny again. <laughs> doctor, doctor, look over here, doctor. Look at his fingernails. Don't you think he looks just... just a little tiny bit cyanotic there? Yeah, they look a little purple, too. <laughs> That's what I said, cyanotic. There are green cyanotics, there are blue cyanotics, and I bet I even saw a yellow what the goblin one. <laughs> But nonsense, Doctor. Don't you think we should do something for him? It's apparent by his skin color that he's not getting enough oxygen. Miss Molly, will you go open that door? That window? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oxygen. Where'd you guys go to school? Thank you. Open the window. <laughs> Shouldn't you put him under an oxygen tent or something? If we start breathing for him once, he'll expect us to breathe for him all the time. Let's <laughs> breathe. Well, now, I really must be going. If you'll just excuse me. Oh, I see. Allow him to become independent of artificial means of survival. Is that it? CPR? Yep. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Room, close 
clean yet, Slade. No, the room is not clean yet, Miss Crowell, but we're having a conference right now. You Thank come back in a little while and it will be ready for you. A conference? Yes, a conference. You go clean another room and this one will be ready in a little while. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Doctor, I'm going to go down to the nurse's station and see what medications are ordered in this patient's case. You may want to make some changes. Okay. Bye. Molly, come now. Bye-bye, doctor. Back in a jiffy. Maybe I can catch her down the hall. <laughs> An instrument. Yes. I've seen these before. <laughs> Whoa. Just like the old granddaddy cock. <laughs> Oh. Right on time as usual. Noon. <laughs> oh. All over that again. Oh, but. I think I can do rather nicely. Hello, this is Slade. This is Dr. Slade. <coughs> this is Dr. Slade here. How may I direct your call? Hello, Slade here. Hello, this is Slade. Hello, this is Slade. Hello. Who is this? This is Dr. Slade. How may I direct your call? Did you say doctor? Yes. Who's this? Just tell me, Dr. Slade, do you know any good brain surgeons? Because if you don't quit fooling around and get to work, you're going to need one! Woo! I was just, I was just kidding around, Miss Carl. Be nice. I, I was just under the bed and they came in and... Miss Carl. Are you trying to get away from me? Don't hurt me, Miss Cal. <laughs> Are you mocking me? No, Miss Cal. Miss Cal, what'd you do? <laughs> I was just kidding around, Miss Crow. And it came off just like that. And it was right there. And I came out, and it... Listen, you know good goof -off. If you don't quit bull around and get to work, you're really going to get carried away on a stretcher. I think I screamed too much. <laughs> Shut a lie. <laughs> when you first got here, this was definitely your first day on the job. I said it was at the beginning. And <laughs> right at this minute, I am your supervisor. Yes, you are. And this could definitely, most likely, just about, maybe, be your last day here. Please, no. If you don't quit fooling around and get to work. Miss Crowell. I mean, Miss Crowell. I mean, Mrs. Crowell. I mean, Mrs. Crowell. <laughs> Miss Crow, are you in here again? Yes, I am, Miss Hume. What's it to you? <laughs> you really mustn't test to the doctor. His patient is very sick. You can say that again. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. <laughs> First, he 
ain't no doctor. And second, my patient is getting baby Dan, and he's making me sick. <laughs> you. No doctor? Well, I guess you're the Queen of England then. Yeah, maybe you're some great heart surgeon yourself. And you have the nerve to say he's no doctor. Yeah. That's what I don't say. Yeah, if you're so smart, what's a BP? Yes, a wise one. What is a BP? BP. What's a BP? Yes. A bad hand. Wrong dumbbell. <laughs> So you're the expert and he's no doctor. That was my second guess. Well, Miss Expert, I suggest you make your way down to the cafeteria and fix yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Or I'm going to call for the nurse Twindle and have her take care of you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the necessary medication ordered for Mr. Kingsley. It appears that the only thing on the orders for today was just one vitamin B injection. Ooh. Well, you girls go ahead. You girls go right ahead and take care of the medication. I think I'll scoot on down to the doctor's lounge and see if there any of another body on the golf course. <laughs> the doctor, we was hoping to see what fine modern miracles of medicine you might be bringing to our hospital with your good looks and all. <laughs> We would just assume that you were loaded with intellect as well. Oh, please do, Doctor. We just want to watch a professional at work. Oh. My nurses. What about your students? Oh, you know that? In fact, I took the liberty of asking some of our students if they would come and watch your work first hand. <laughs> students, students, come in, come in. Please be very quiet and do pay attention. The doctor is going to be a physician of vitamin B injection. Oh. outside in the wintertime. I might use my gloves. Or maybe even a scarf, too. But seeing that I am not... Sit. Now, as I was saying... Doctor, I was referring to rubber gloves. I knew that. <laughs> Pretty old girl. Twindle is the name. Okay. Now, the first thing we want to do, I need you to pass those out to those young nurses over there. 
Now, the first thing we want to do is hold these apparatus up to the light. We must make sure they are perfectly sound. Okay, now we've got to stretch them at a point. It's clean, and it's clean and sterile. You're going to get infected if you're not careful. Isn't that what we're doing? No! Inject it. Oh, same thing. Now, hold the apparatus. It's up to the light. You'll have to scoot up so I can see you. Scoot on up there. Now. First, we must make sure the apparatus is perfectly sound. There must be no holes in it. That's right. Now, the most important of all things is to make sure it is perfectly airtight. Airtight. Now, Miss Molly, I'm going to need your help. <laughs> now, the most important thing is to stretch the arms out. That's right. Get your thumbs in. That's right. Get them right on in there. That's right, you're doing wonderfully. So are you. <laughs> now, now we must assume the 90 degree position. Now, that's right. Now, since we've got our bodies at a 90 degree... Oh, you're doing wonderfully. Now, we will now check it to make sure the apparatus is perfectly airtight. Now, begin to... Oh, 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 now, as you get it over your head, just... Oh, 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 This one was perfectly unsound. <laughs> Nurse, I will need another apparatus. <laughs> My own. <laughs> now. <laughs> now, begin the same process if yours seem to have failed like mine. I'm going to get after those manufacturers. Now, assume the same position. Stretch it over the top of your head. Oh, now you get it over the top of your head. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, the manufacturer failed twice. This is very rare. <laughs> Thanks to goodness, I've got my own. <laughs> now, again. You gotta get those lips moving. It, 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 it kind of lubricates your head. <laughs> now, begin the position again. Nurse Molly, don't you dare pop this again. <laughs> now, begin the position again. Oh, again, stretching. Oh. We're not getting anywhere. This has never happened before. <laughs> Obviously, we must stretch it a little harder. <laughs> Stop laughing, man. I'm in a position here. Now, maybe if I begin by stretching it over my knee. You girls don't have to. Okay. Okay. Now help me. Miss Molly, I'm losing my patience with you. You're not getting very well without my... Stop laughing so hard. And help me. Now, again, assume the position. sound, we now, may now place it on the hand. Not my hand! The patient's a doctor! Miracles of modern medicine, remember? Oh. If the patient is the one that's sick, he would have the most germs. Of course, he should wear the gloves. Molly, we train you better than that. Doctor! You're a genius. I know. <laughs> you like this, Bill? Yes. 
that finally we do it. Okay. Well, all my nurses are taking care of that. We now shall now check the infection to make In sure it's injection is the word. That's what I say. Infection. Now we'll make sure the infection is perfectly In sound injection. and has no nicks or pings in its exterior. That's right. There's nothing worse to a patient than an injection or an infection or whatever it is that looks oh. second hand. That's right. Oh, you're doing wonderful. Wonderful. Now, nurse. I shall now proceed to introduce the vital man's pollution. Oh. Vital man's pollution is what we have, doctor. Whoa! What's this? That's the syringe containing the vitamin B solution. Is it? We won't be using this for this procedure. <laughs> now, give me the infection. Injection. Doctor. That's what I said. Yes, that's what I said. I'm ready for my next line. Forget it. Let's go to the next one. Well, pay attention, ladies. It is very important that we make sure that we infect the patient in the proper place. Inject no. the patient. Student, student. Inject is the word. That's what I said. Inject. Inject. Okay. Now we will infect the patient with the vital man's pollution in the proper place. You can only shoot these things once. Don't you get alcohol or something? Look at these nerves. <laughs> Besides that, I don't touch the stuff. Doctor, she was referring to rubbing alcohol. Didn't you know that you have to take the alcohol and clean the skin back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until it is clean enough that you can give this patient a shot? Shot? Did you say shot? Yes. Oh, I got one of those ones. <laughs> I know it wasn't you. Please give this poor man his shot now. Okay. Now. Well, well uh, modern medicine is changing the way we do. Now, now follow along here. Write this in your notes, nurses. We will place the injection, I mean injection. Thank you, miss. The injection on the bedside table. Doctor, how is that going to help the patient? Husband. Oh. Doctor, I still don't understand. The patient isn't even conscious. How are they supposed to get enough strength to begin a recovery process on his own? Strength. Strength. Exercise. Exercise, of course. That's right. Comatose, doctor. That's right. Now, we're going to go in and provide the proper exercise for the commutose. It's a oh, carpal yeah. one. Yeah. Now, I'm going to need your assistance, Mrs. Kingsley. You too, Mark. <laughs> now, you go ahead and take that limb there. You take this limb here. Please, Tony. Tony! <laughs> now, we must provide the proper exercise for this commutose. Now, what we will do is we will provide it with the proper sound. You know, if we don't do it in unison, he doesn't get that proper exercise. Now, we will do the roll, roll. That's right. Now, all of you together now. Let's move those things really high. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, you got to get higher. Roll. A little bit. Whoa. A little what? Oh, the noise. Yeah. A little too, um, quiet. No. Oh, yes. We must work on his sound sensitivity also. Now, all together now. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh, my. It's quite all right. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, let's go back to our proper, Inception. proper, uh, what do you call it? Inception. No, I've got it. Even though she's not going to follow along here. Do it. Whoa. 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 Whoa.
as administrator of this hospital, I demand to know what is going on here. There's up, Swain! <laughs> Ew. You take it very easy. If you've been in an injury, you must take it very, very careful. But you must truly most of my own. I don't. Oh, be careful. You must not get out of bed. Patients must stay in the bath. Or they'll, they'll, they'll get... Oh, my foot. Why, this is amazing. This man on the brink of death itself has been has been plucked from the grave's own clutches. And you, you scoundrel, you have the nerve to come to me and tell me this man's no doctor? Well, I agree with you. He is not a doctor. He's a miracle worker. From now on, you tend to your mops and bedpans and leave my doctors alone. Or I shall have you fired for pet of housekeeping department. Come, young man. We're going to discuss your future at our hospital. Many institutions would give an arm and a leg to have such a talented person on their staff. <laughs> Can I get a coat? Certainly. Can I get to keep this one? Most definitely. Well, unless you want a better one. Oh, I do, I do. <sighs> Out of the way, Crabwell. <laughs> He's hired, Crowell. <laughs> Doctor, remember me? I'll marry you. <laughs> Ms. Crowell, it's plain to see that you know very little about the environment you work in. I can't believe you would think Mr. Slade was anything but a medical genius. <laughs> <laughs> Why, a sneaky trickster. <laughs> Doctor, my eyelash. <laughs> he wouldn't know a nurse's aid from a band aid. <laughs> that was just play old. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 